to the Pro Homes Group first episode of our Pro Spotlight. I have today with us Tim Finnegan with Finnegan Fencing Co. out of Londonderry. I'm so excited you're here! Everybody, thanks Jess. Uh, Happy to be here. Yay! Where are we going right now? So right now we're going over to see um, one of our four crews. Um, we're going over to see Foreman Kyle and his team member Will. Uh, they're working in Manchester, New Hampshire today, and they're doing a chain link installation, day one chain link installation. So uh, what we're going to be seeing is them setting chain link pipe on the um, on the fence lines as far as what the layout's going to be. And it'll be you know, just a nice insight into what the process looks like right from the start on a, on a new project, new customer, um, getting their fence started off. Um, we'll get to have some, you know, some dialogue with them and uh, get a feel for what it is they're seeing and doing uh, in the field. So Tim, tell us a little bit about your company and sure. how you got started. Sure, so our, our company is Finnegan Fence Company. Um, and again, my name is Tim. Um, my father, Al, and my brother, Brian, and I started the company four and a half years ago. Um, my father's been in the fence industry in some form for the past 30 to 35 years. And um, basically all of our business is conducted within the Southern New Hampshire area, um, Merrimack Valley region. Uh, so we pretty much touch from Concord to Andover and go down exit uh, exit 5 on 101 out to Nashua. Um, it's kind of the range we're in. We specialize in residential fencing and um, do everything from vinyl to wood to chain link to aluminum products. So the first step is the poles. Yep, installing the poles. And they get cemented in. Yep, yep. So not all fence companies cement them in, right? Some companies don't. Uh, Finnegan Fence Company does uh, for durability and longevity of the material and the project over time. We take the time to cement every single post that we do. And so you already know where all these holes are going to go? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm all uh, marked out and everything. Um, we get a diagram beforehand so we walk it out before. Perfect. Make sure uh, everything lines up well and we have all the material that we need. And does this have to solidify for a day before you can actually put up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, usually we let it set for a couple of days, let the cement all set up and get uh, hardened to the post and then we'll come back within a few days to uh, get the link up and then all the gates and everything. Seeing a project come together, seeing the final thing, that's like the most satisfying yeah, absolutely. part. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, we'll yeah. think about it from the starter point, right? They call us with a with a pain point or with a want, right? If it's going to be something decorative, right, or along the roadway. Or they call us because they just adopted a puppy or rescued yeah. a puppy, right? And they're going, oh my God, we want to give them a secure space to play. We don't want to have to worry about them getting out. Um, we want to take care of them and treat them the right way. So they invest all this money into the fence project. So for us knowing what their needs are and having done it before and been down that road, we know exactly what they're looking for and what the end result should be. But again, like Kyle said, seeing it come from start to, to end result and then seeing them let the puppy out for the first time across yeah. the back door and it's running around and free and having a blast. I mean, the smile on their face is, um, it, it really means a lot. Well, and I think that you nailed it on the head too, which is similar to my business is it's not about what I want. It's right. not what I would do in mm -hmm. this yard. Yep. It's about what the client wants, what right. are their needs. And then we come in as the expert saying, we do this every day Absolutely. or we do this multiple times, yep. you know, a week, a month yep. or whatever. Yep. We can have more of a vision to help you make your dream come true, right? Exactly which right. is the whole pro homes thing, right? right. Dream brig, yep. dream, not brig. Dream big and let us help you make it a reality. And that's absolutely. exactly what you guys do too. Awesome, yeah. yeah. Very well said, yeah, absolutely. And what makes you different from other local fencing companies? Um, the, personally, I think the biggest thing is, is that we have a team of people um, that are doing specific jobs, if you will, throughout the process. So um, I'm like a small contractor where they're wearing all the hats, right? And they're going and doing all the sales consultations. They're trying to answer the phones to get back to emails and voicemails, uh, then doing the installation, uh, doing all the ordering on the back end. Uh, we have a team of people in place from Lisa in our office, uh, who's doing all of our appointment coordinating and all of our communications. Um, myself doing more of the ordering, uh, managing our sales team, um, doing the follow-up you know, after projects are complete uh, to ensure satisfaction and uh, carry them from the day of installation all the way through. Um, we have a full sales team of four people that can go out and do consultations and site visits, meaning that they're going to go out to do the initial assessment. Um, and then they're also going to work with them closely throughout the process um, as we near closer to their project to do pre-installation walkthroughs, site visits if projects need to change, uh, flagging for dig safe, things like that. Um, and then uh, our installation teams, right, the bread and butter, yeah. um, they're out there, they're doing, they're doing all, the, all the hard work. They're going out there and they're completing these installations. Um, 
getting everything done. So I think, again, to answer your question, the big separation is that from every step in the process, we have people that are designated to handle those situations. Um, so whether a customer needs an update um, or there's something internally going on that we need to handle, um, there are pros that are gonna handle it each step of the way. So, um, so what we did for this gentleman's home up here, up in Concord, New Hampshire, um, Brian and Andrew are here today. We started this project yesterday with a crew of four. So we talked about running yes. two man crews, four man crews, etc. So on a project of this scale, and we'll take a walk around here in a minute. Um, Brian came up here to team lead a crew. Brian, was it four gentlemen yesterday? Uh, five. Or five? We had a team of five up here yesterday. So we took what was essentially a 40 panel job and we're able to basically get it all done in a, in a day's work. And then wow. we just got a little bit of spillover today. They're putting in another panel, two panels here. And then we're going to hang gates on, on the day two portion of the application. Is your favorite part of the job working with your family? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'm just kidding. What is your favorite part? I've seen the end result, honestly. Because, you know, we get to a site, there's nothing there, and we get to create something. Yeah. It's long lasting, too, which is the best part. Yeah, yeah, you can come back in years from now and see the same thing. Pretty much. Oh, I drive around all the time. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hey, I did that one. <laughs> I did that one. Sort of like a real estate agent. I Pretty sold much. that house. Yeah. In fact, I yeah. sold the house right down yeah. the street from here. <laughs> all right. All right. Oh. all right. So, what's the hardest part? Dealing with me. Yeah. Dealing <laughs> with family. It's the same thing. It's the same me. answer. It's the best and worst, right? Digging the hole, really. Once we pour the cement in, it's called a compaction. So it's basically compacting the post. And once I do it, I'm going to have you, 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 all of you come over here and try to pull this post straight up. So Awesome. So when you put it in and you mix the cement and you put it in wet, right? Once it hardens within the day, day and a half, especially when it's this time of year and it's warm outside, um, you gotta re-dig everything up if you need to make adjustments, right? Sure. Mother Nature can play a factor on these panels and these posts, right? Um, if maybe a little bit of settling, sure, uh, sure, obviously sure. going into the winter or coming out of the winter into the spring, a little bit of frost thieving. So dry packing it allows him to get everything precise and he can do what's tapping posts down. So we usually set them a little bit higher and then Brian can then come by with like a two by four, okay, and a mallet, and then tap these all down to the height that they want them at. Oh, cool. Yeah. Ready? I'm afraid. Oh, no, go ahead. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so we can't get it out of the ground. Nothing. Not coming at all. Nothing. Not coming out. That's awesome. <laughs> so again, the reason we do that is it's a better compaction, like Brian said, at initial putting the fence yeah. posts in the ground. Um, and then that cement will harden up over the next couple of days, weeks time frame. Um, and again, if something needs to be adjusted, right, now it's not perfectly put in there wet and then hardened right. up overnight, right, okay? Right. As you can tell, it's, it's more than sturdy. It's actually more sturdy when we leave now doing it like that than if we were to put it in wet cement and then, and then the wind hits yeah, it yeah, yeah. and it takes the post out of level. Sure, sure. So. so I hope you guys got a lot of good information from Finnegan Fencing Company and all the wonderful work they do in our local area because they love me so much and I love them. If you call Finnegan Fence in the month of July of 2021 to book your consultation um, and you decide to go ahead and move forward with Finnegan Fence, make sure you mention the Pro Homes Group in this video and they are gonna give you a 5% discount on your project. So make sure you get that consult in, even if you're planning, as um, Tim mentioned, for the fall or next spring, get on the calendar now, take advantage of that wonderful referral discount. I wish you guys all the best. Continue to dream big. And remember, me and my partners are here to make those dreams a reality.